Hello there everybody, it's me BD from the dark side and welcome to Terraria. This is gonna be a new let's play. I've already got a character from long ago. Um, we're gonna be playing Terraria um, now on the channel just for a little bit. And we're gonna be killing uh, bosses and stuff. I'm gonna hope that I'm gonna hope to kill like with the Moon Lord. Ooh, that's a nice character. And it's soft score. We're gonna call him Nick. So, or, uh, don't worry about this guy. I know he's like maxed mana and almost max HP, but I promise you, I am such a noob at this game. Okay, so we're gonna be playing on a small sized world. It's gonna be expert, and we're gonna call it Hello World, because why not? With, with the E, big yes. That's how you know that it's a perfect world. And we're just gonna wait for it to generate. It's gonna take like a minute or so. And, um, so, we're gonna be, uh, I just finished recording, uh, the episode of Minecraft Skyblock, which you're hopefully gonna, uh, watch very soon. Um, I don't know if we're gonna continue with that Skyblock, because I didn't like the server that much. I don't know. I was a little bit of a goof in it as well, <laughs> which is embarrassing. I can't believe after, like, all these years playing Minecraft and playing on servers, I still make mistakes just like this, which I just made over there. Um, so, um, right now we're going to be moving to Terraria. We're going to be uh, playing all the way until we finish the game and we do all the bosses. Uh, and maybe, maybe, we'll do a little bit of building as well. Okay, so it finished. I'm going to play this and just... Just like Minecraft, I have to start by destroying some trees. First of all, I want to lower the music a little bit down. Um, just a little bit. Just a nudge, nudge, like that, and the sounds as well. Just so that you like... Oh, camera mode. No. Okay. We have a bad sword. I need to craft a wooden sword ASAP. Just die, please. Please. Thank you. Um, so this isn't hardcore. So if I die, my, my stuff will stay and I will respawn. Uh, but I'll lose the gold, of course. Um, so welcome to Terraria. This is, you, if you look at it from the surface, it looks like Minecraft. You're getting wood. There's grass. There's trees. There's mobs. There's a slime. But there's an NPC. And he's actually doing stuff. Unlike Minecraft's villagers who just stay and keep spamming ah! in front of your face. He actually, you're actually able to talk to him just as you saw here. I'm here to, to give you advice on what next, what to do next. It's recommended that you talk with me anytime you get stuck. He can help you with crafting. You can place an item here and it will tell you, uh, like for example, wood. If I took wood and place it here. You can see all the crafting recipes with wood. You can see all these crazy stuff like these campfires. All these crazy axes, big axes and weapons, which is very cool. And um, you can also ask him for advice. Um, like, you can use your pickaxe to dig through dirt, your axe to chop down trees, just place your cursor and click. Basically, the tutorial guy right here tells you how to play the game. And uh, he helps you uh, with, like, uh, bosses and stuff like that. Like, he doesn't kill them, but he, he does give you hints about them. Uh, and he explains you some of the events, like the Blood Moon and stuff. And he tells you to watch out. And, um, I mean, I'm an experienced player, but for some of you who probably haven't seen or tried the game before, he's gonna be the biggest help you ever have in this game, and I'm just dying to this. Why? He's gonna give you a very big hand uh, in this game, for some of you. Uh, because he is gonna tell you what to do next and how to get like NPC characters. Now I finally got a sword. Thank you. That's called a sword. Yes. So the so the difference between the wooden sword and the chopper the short sword is you see how the sword just does this. It just goes in one direction, right in front of you. But this one just swings, and if it swings, it can hit multiple targets. Uh, like if there is one a little bit higher, like coming from the sky, and one coming from the ground can swing it, and you can hit him. Like for a slime, if he was jumping, uh, you can you can hit him as well. 
So that's very nice. We're gonna craft some wooden armor just like every single noob would do. And we'll look up them. And now we have wooden armor. We look very weird and disturbing. You're ugly, sir. You're very ugly. Um, later on in the game we can get cosmetics. As you can see right here, there is the armor. There's the armor. These are accessories which you put and gives you like additional buffs. Uh, these are accessories, but, um, social. Uh, like you put them, and that's how, how you look here. So, if, so for example, place this here. You see, no stats will be gained because it's in the social slot. That's how you. That's how I look. Um, so we can place like. Imagine if I placed uh, uh, glasses here. Um, you, you're gonna. You won't be able to see my armor. You won't see this helmet on my head. You'll see glasses. You see me wearing glasses instead of wearing the armor but the armor effect stays you keep the defense but it just you just can't see it so because so, some of the armor just look absolutely bonkers and they look horrible bonkers wasn't the right word I know some of the armor looked very horrible so if you want you can hide it with uh, with cosmetics so that's cool also some of these accessories um, like they have shields and stuff, so you can place dyes, so they can so you can change how they look. Also, same same thing here with the armor and with, uh, with everything else. You can place dyes. And um, right here, right up here, there's a housing tab. You can see we have the guide, who is um, the guy right here, who's gonna help us. And um, you see a question mark. The question mark helps you determine if this is a house or not. And it tells you what's the house missing. So basically in this game you can get more NPCs throughout time. All you need to do is to do like specific stuff and um, and, eventually, and build them a house. And eventually a new character will move into the game and you can benefit from what he gives you. Oh, that's nice. That's very, very nice. We found a tree. First of all, this mushroom. These mushrooms give you health. These will come... These will come in handy very, very soon. We're gonna create some torches from the slime we have. You can press shift to instantly get the, the torches instead of having them in my hotbar. Ooh, apparently there is a snow biome here somewhere. I don't know how true is that. I see no snow. Okay, give me this. And we found the chest. Um, iron's useful. Arrows too. The healing potions are useful. The bombs are meh. I don't know. Looms not bad. Dangerous might come in handy, but everything else is like, why? Why are you here? You're just filling space. <laughs> but I'll take it anyways. Oh yes, it's a nice cave. Oh, that's dangerous. I am gonna die here a lot, or not? Okay, I'll take the iron. Thank you very much. Um, by the way, if you ever had Terraria and you created a new world, I'm gonna assure you right now, everything is gonna be different. Uh, my world is gonna be completely different than yours. Not only by like, oh yeah, you're building different stuff. It's gonna be so different. Even the ores are gonna be different. The ores in your world are gonna be so much different than mine, than the ones in my world, because... Uh, how ores generate is, I think that there is two types of ores, and uh, depending on your world, um, it generates. Like, instead of iron, there is lead. Instead of platinum, is it platinum or is it titanium? I, no, titanium is something else. Instead of platinum, I'm pretty sure, there is, um, there is gold. And yeah, they just change depending on what world you have. And the random number generator. It's like the game rolls the dice, and uh, whichever number it lands, it um, it puts you a random ore. And I was lucky and got, or wasn't lucky, I don't know if it's lucky or not, to get iron. Uh, pretty much anyone can have that. There isn't like a rare ore or anything like that. So I got iron instead of lead, I'm pretty sure. Which is very nice because. Um, the other world which you just saw in the home screen is uh, a 
it has lead, not iron. Every single world I've ever played has lead, not iron in it. Don't die. I, need, I want your money. You carry money. I want that money. So you can see we get we get coins. One silver coin is a hundred copper. A hundred copper is one gold, and a hundred gold is one platinum. Now, of course, you're asking and wondering, what is the money for? That's um that's for the NPCs. Uh, the NPCs will eventually trade you um items when they arrive. They're gonna trade you stuff like I don't know weapons. Some of them trade the bombs. Um, one of the NPCs can heal you for money too. Uh, it's a very interesting game, to be honest. Also, this is cactus. I'm gonna grab that. I'm pretty sure I can make a a new sword out of this. A cactus sword. Uh, I remember a cactus sword because it was the first good sword I ever crafted before I ever knew anything about Terraria. Before I knew anything, I just crafted the cactus sword and stayed with it. Because I was a noob and I didn't know anything. Even right now, I'm still a noob. I, d I don't know anything about the game. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> wow. Our first death. Great job. How, how much time are we in the episode? We're already 11 minutes in and we died. <laughs> Amazing start. So as you can see... Uh, because our character was softcore, as you saw in the beginning of the game, we didn't lose any items, and we didn't uh, just die forever. Because our character was softcore, we don't lose any items, and um, we respawn just normally, and uh, we just lose coins, which is very nice indeed. Okay. Oh, bad copper pickaxe. Okay, well now we have a sword, a good, a kind of good sword. I won't say it's amazing, but we'll make do with anything we find right now, until that we like, I don't know, go actually into a cave and not. Did we die in the last? I I can't remember. Until we actually go into a cave. So um, this is the problem here. The ice biome is very annoying. And um, this biome right here is very annoying too because it has lots of enemies. I don't know which one I should go to. Die. Come on. Just die. Oh my god. Um, so I think I'm gonna go to the ice biome. Yes. I also like how the background changes. Oh god, what hit me? I think it's a... Might be a trap. Or it's not. It wasn't a trap. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to jump. There we go. Let's not fight him. Let's leave him. Slimes are passive, I think. Until you hit them. And then they start trying to kill you. Or they hit you accidentally. Like if you ran into them, they're gonna hit you. Because every time like there is a slime, I just wait for him to jump over me. Oh my god! What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what are you doing? What was that, Marty? What was that? <laughs> Can I do that again, please? Oh, <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, look, a penguin. Every single biome has its own mobs, like these. this very nice plains biome has um, butterflies and birds and stuff. This biome has like, um, what is it called? Penguins, just read it. How did I forget it already? This thing has penguins and also it has different mobs. So it has like Eskimo, Eskimo? Zombies and stuff. They have like ice coats, and uh, they they're more blue than usual. And their skeletons and stuff. It looks very very cool. How like there is variety and everything. It's not always the same mob like in Minecraft. It's like oh oh yeah, you're you're in a savanna biome. You're still gonna find a zombie. Just a normal good old looking zombie. No, that's not the same thing here. 
It depends on what, what biome you're in. You get a special mob. And I really, really like that. Okay, there's a cave. It's an ice cave, so it's gonna be annoying to, uh, to go through because water, water will slow you and we're in the... Oh my god. This is bad. This is very, very bad. I'm out. I'm out. What are you? Oh, corrupted goldfish. Oh, great. That's that's just what I wanted. Can I just get a cave and stay a little bit away from that? I'm not going to mind that. I'm just going to go over the desert. This thing has 200 health. Holy moly. Why did I jump? Okay, now he's going to start attacking me. Right? Is he going to? Or not. You know, you know, whatever. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I'm gonna enjoy a mushroom. Very nice. So you see this here? It's a debuff. Every time you, you eat something that heals you. What is that? Every time you get healed, you have a debuff that stops you from healing again for till one minute. Which is just to stop you from spamming heal potions while, while in a boss battle. So you don't always like, gla, 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 and your health stays full. Because to heal, you can simply press H and you can just spam that button if there isn't this effect. Just to balance stuff out. And now it's night time, so zombies are going to start to come out. And zombies are more powerful than the, these little slimes. If these slimes gave us a hard time, these zombies will give us an even harder time. And they know how to jump. Amazing. As you can see, I'm already like halfway down my health. Come on. Oh, oops. Oh, that's bad. Come on, come on. Oop. Well, that is very, very much bad. No, stay. Stay. Oh, great. There's a zombie here, too. I'm out. I think what I'm gonna do is nah I won't do it. I'll just I'll just bridge over that over that thing. Okay, I'm out. Demon Eye, no. Drink one of these, because they give more health, and um choose this. Oh crap, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Where am I going? How deep is this? Oh, just great. Oh, for goodness sake. You see, I'm not good at the game. At all. At all. 0% good at the game here. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Oh, great. At least I know how to swing the sword. That's all I know. You see this other world? You see, you see I'm kind of OP? Yeah. Not good at all. But hopefully I'll, I'll get better through time. Hello. Close the door. Hopefully I'll get better uh, the more I play the game. And hopefully I'll play it, almost fell to my death, I'll play it a little bit more often now that I'm going to actually record it to YouTube for you guys. So I'm going to be playing this game a little bit more often. So I'm going to get good. Wait, I guess, um, how much iron ore do I have? Okay, so I think I'm going to go up to the house actually, right up there, and I'll try and craft an anvil. And with the anvil, you can actually craft stuff out of metal. So an anvil right now is very, very useful. It's going to be faster than this pickaxe for sure. Can I craft an iron pickaxe? Can I? Ah, uh, no. We'll see right now. I can't remember anything about the game. <laughs> Let's put this here. Where is it? An iron anvil. The five iron. There we go. And we don't have enough. 
I'm gonna need to craft a furnace, but I need stone for that. Yeah, I need stone. And I see some stone right down here, so I guess I don't mind expanding. Hopefully I'll make this like a house, eventually. I'll make like multi-rooms uh, multi here. Over here a room, here and there. That would be nice. And then we're gonna have all the NPCs to move in. I'm pretty sure if I made a house right now, an NPC will instantly move in. Because I have bombs, and then the demolition will, will move in. Which is very, very nice. Okay, um, we'll place you here. We'll place some platforms here right now, just like that. And we'll make a furnace, which we'll place over, where can I place it? I guess I'll place it over here. And we'll make as many as we can. Nine, okay. Can we, yes, 40%. It's better, it's 5% better. I guess it's something for now. We'll put our bad tools. Actually, why are we even putting them here? I don't know if you can sell them, so I'm gonna keep them. Oh, great, there's a zombie now. Just great. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. <clears throat> One death is enough for a video. <laughs> I hope I don't die again. I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> from fall damage or something stupid like that. Because that's how I am. I die in very stupid ways. If I was in a zombie apocalypse, I would probably... Oh no. No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Stay away, away! Oh my god. Oh, I'm sliding! <laughs> The ice! I slid all the ice. Oh no, that's bad. Oh. Now we're gonna respawn all over in the spawn point and we're gonna have to walk our way back to here. Welp, third third respawns a charm. Maybe I won't die now. Ooh, a star. I'll take that. Can we make our way to home without dying? Oh, oh. Ah, okay, we're alive. We're alive. There's another. Okay. Come on. Even if I close this place over here, they're still gonna come. They're gonna spawn. For some reason, they just can't spawn anywhere. Okay, come on, get down. Okay, zombie's not here anymore. Despawned. And he took my silver. Oh, he took so much silver. Okay, we're in an ice cave right now. That's good. Ooh, tin. Is tin useful? Is tin useful? I don't know if, it, if tin is useful, to be honest. I don't think it is much. And there isn't that many crafting recipes with tin. I'll take some at least. I'll take some. Okay, let's keep on going. More tin. <laughs> we don't want tin, we want something else. Oh god. Um Yeah, that happened. Okay, there is iron over there. I should, I should, I really want to take it, but I'm so slow underwater because of the uh, debuff effect right here, the chilled. Okay. Now we can grab this in peace. That's a huge vein. That's one huge vein of iron. Wow, that's so big.
Um, I thought that it was, it could be trapped. Apparently it's not. This is the biggest vein of iron I've ever seen in my life. Oh, great. Just what I wanted. Just great. That's a bat cave, and that's an amethyst. And I want that. Because I would love to start using some mage weapons if I don't die to these two ice bats just right now. Come on. Get stun locked. Yes, there we go. I'm killing a bat. I've never been so happy killing a bat. Get an amethyst. More amethysts. Very nice. Amazing. Okay, I see you. Nope, stay away. Stay away. Please. Please, please, I want to live. Okay, I want to live. I said please. No, don't do it. Okay, there we go. Ooh, there's iron. What is this? Topaz. Pretty sure we can make a weapon out of this that shoots... I think, I'm pretty sure it shoots um, sandstone or sand. So I don't know if it's that good or not. Because we're going to have to break sand to actually use it. And also it costs a lot to make. Is there a cave down here? Um, I don't think so, no. Nine, there we go. Good. Walk right um, right here, like that. What's inside number two? Topaz, give me that, give me this, there we go. And that's a nice slime, and that's some uh, shadow, I don't know what the ore for this thing is called, I forgot. Oh, great. It's just, that's just what I wanted. Oh, my God. Oh, what? I'm freezing. I'm frozen. That's bad. Um. Hit. Okay. Um, we're going to have to make ourselves a way to here. Just like that. And then we're going to mine. Okay, get out. Oh, my God. I can see a spider over there, a, a bat over there. Nine, there we go. Keep on mining, keep on mining. On a viking, just great. That's just what I wanted. Go die. Nope. Nope. Stay away. We need a bow as well. Because a bow would be very, very nice. And there's a bug. I think the bug's gonna kill me after the bat damages me enough. Just steals the kill. Too close for comfort, Viking. Please. Why does it take so long for you to die? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I think we can do this. Did this. Okay. No. Fine. Stay with. No, no. Oh my god. I told you the beetle's gonna kill me. Oh, this was just an epic fail. This whole episode's a big fail. Yeah. Very bad. And it just became daytime. Wonderful. We got nothing useful at all. <laughs> we got nothing useful at all. There was just these two biomes right next to me. I don't know what to do. Open. Close. Okay. 
a wooden bow and arrow, like that. And we'll grab some flame arrows. Jesker arrows. Flame. Just like that. Actually, uh, nah, nah, good enough. Let's keep going. The episode must move on. And I want to get a crystal heart this episode. At least one crystal heart. Then I would be satisfied-ish. Okay, not that way. Apparently. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. The, the minimap says that there is a cave right here. See here? So we're gonna go right there. And I just wasted an arrow. So good at this game. Professional gameplay right here. Please leave a like. At least I know how to use the tools, you know. Ten. Oh, wait, wait, that's a room. Oh, yes. Oh, an ice chest. Yes. What do we have here? <gasps> an ice blade. Amazing. And an ice remover. Oh, I love this because it does that. Oh, I remember this. This was one of my first swords that I ever got in Terraria. That was one of my first swords ever, and I absolutely loved it. And we found some... Tungsten. Am I spelling that correctly? It's Tungsten. I know how to read. <laughs> Remembering the days when I used to call it Tungsten for some reason. I don't know why. But now I know actual English, so I can read. Maybe. A little bit. Not much. I'm lying. That's a lie. I can't read. I'm, I know read so good. I mean, come on, it's summer. Who's gonna read? We don't have time to read. We're, we're, we're trying to have fun because summer is almost over. Sob. Very sad. Let's show this. Then we can open. Open! Fine. Okay, let's go down. Or let's go up. Oh god, like that, with some ropes, right, um, here, come on, up, there we go, just like that, amazing, okay, what do we have in here, anything useful, a trap, no thank you, I'll stay here, in the safe side, Ow we, ow we no, bad, 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 bad. There we go. Twenty health. Give me them hearts. Very nice. Um, and I see another cave down there somewhere. On the minimap. Hopefully I'll get to it soon. Oh god, that was a bad idea. Oof, my heart. It's a viking again. I'll use magic to kill the viking. Okay, I'm standing on a trap. That's so bad. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, this is so bad. Welp. That's my end. <laughs> I died. For about three times. In one episode. In less than an hour. <laughs> in less than 40 minutes. Oh. Welp. That does it for today's episode of Terraria. You saw how bad I am. And um. Yeah, hopefully I'll get better, slowly. I, I also want to make collabs with this, 
with my friends. My friends are so much better. They actually know how to use a sword. <laughs> they actually know how to use a sword instead of just being like, eh, 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 eh. Okay, they actually know how to play the game, so. Um, leave a like if you've enjoyed seeing me suck. And uh, subscribe for more content, just like this one, on the, right here on the channel. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye. Let's do a dance. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm an idiot.